Well, I guess we're here now. We just gotta test the test the strength of our natural sunscreen. No one is good. Exactly. All right, what's up, Bill Seekers? As you can see, we're here at Universal Studios Orlando. Um, yeah, I already, I already did that thing. Um, super, actually, excited for. I'm super, super excited for today. Um, we actually have two separate days. So we have today, which is just Universal, um, and then tomorrow, which is just Islands of Adventure. Um, just because I wanted as much time as we could possibly get um, here at the park. Um, and also we couldn't get a Disney reservation, so I thought we'd go here in two days. Um, that's my bad. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm super excited. Let's do it. Da -da -da. Oh snap, a must do. As we found out at Universal Studios Hollywood, a must-do is Despicable Me Minion Mayhem. Let's do it. <laughs> no, 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 it was, remember, oh, how, was remember how bad? That wasn't your favorite? No, no it was, it was, yeah. Okay. yeah, we're not. We're so you were kidding? No, yeah, very, very oh, much so. Right. Very much so, gotcha. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, something that I actually really, really wanted to see is Born Stuntacular. Next show is literally in 15 minutes, so might as well just hop on in. So excited for this, actually. So basically, right, the plan is a really, okay, gotta get super close. So basically, right, the plan is to hit all of kind of the lower weight rides um, or shows, like Born Stuntacular, um, which literally starts in 15 minutes. That was super good timing. Um, I think the Simpsons ride is relatively low weight, E.T., stuff like that. Um, and then after that, uh, once our friend Caden gets here, um, then he has an express pass. So we're going to be able to um, go and just hop right on all of the rides. So it'll be good. Really good. Literally like five minutes later, and we are already up here. I love how they just kind of put a screen on the edge of the... That's cool. Yay! That's crazy. So excited. Oh, we getting scanned, bro. Oh, snap. Whoa. Briefing room. Oh, wow. <laughs> there we are. Well, they, uh, they just said that um, we can't video, so I'll see y'all after. <laughs> Gotta exit through the gift shop. That was cool. That was really, really cool. That's it, like, honestly, though. Honestly, I'm so happy that we went and saw that. Yeah, that is, timing. Yeah, that is one of, like, a mu I, honestly, I have to say it, it's a must-do if you come here. Um, yeah, that show is awesome. Now, this, or Waterworld, Oh, one's spectacular or water world? Completely different. It's apples yeah. and oranges. Yeah. One's outside, one's inside. One is way more physical. Yep. Um, the other has augmented stunt capability. Yep. Augmented reality. So. Yep. Both great, but different. I totally agree. Honestly, I really love. Um, if you guys don't know anything about it, um, something, this doesn't really spoil anything, it's just like a fact. Um, it uses, um, it kind of uses a blend of physical sets and a big, I believe it's 120 something. Um, yeah, it's like 128 foot long and like 28 foot high screen. I don't know if I have those statistics right, but it's something like that. Um, and that just completely envelops the background of the stage. Um, and they are trackless, literally trackless vehicles. Um, something like you would find on Rise of the Resistance, for example. 
um, but it's set pieces and they come out um, and they make the virtual set blend into reality and then they do all their stunts and stuff so yeah just just that aspect was amazing on it again must do i totally geeked out the entire time i was just staring at the stage like because um, i have been always interested in like stunt performance um but i'm also interested in engineering within themed entertainment um so just blending all of those worlds in was super super cool Alrighty, next up is going to be E.T.'s Adventure. I have not ridden this ride. Um, it's definitely more of one of the classic rides here, um, from my knowledge, so I'm excited to ride it. Um, in addition, there is the Simpsons ride. These were the two rides in the park that had the lowest wait time, so I'm gonna ride those first before um, Caden ends up getting here with the express passes and then we can just hop on everything real quick. But for now, shortest wait is our friend. Well, that's nice. Yo, I got my passport. Yeah. Let's go. I feel like uh, there should be a little bit more to that tree right there. I have to say something already that I actually appreciate. Um, is the fact that the ride vehicle comes right through this room. Actually, oh wait, this is literally the station, bro. You know, I always appreciate when parks have separate load stations, uh, one for like flash passes or um, express passes or whatever, and one for regular guests. I know Top Throw Dragster does this, um, and a couple other parks as well, and I actually really like it. I think it works really well. You know, I love how Universal is rich enough to have three employees at the front dedicated to giving us these cards, right? And all their, they're, they're not used for anything. <laughs> Literally, you just go up and then the grouper takes your card. Like, those three employees do not have to be there. Just, just cut out that part of the pre-show and you're vibing. But, Hey, it's universal. They got the money to pay extra people, like what? You know, probably four or five hundred extra per day, if I had to guess, for those extra three employees. <laughs> uh, Six Flags would never. Hey, oh, I was lying. They actually do scan them on there. So most likely part of the ride, they display our names or do something along those lines. Okay, that makes sense. And here we go. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We've got some unauthorized people entering the base. Wait, they got E.T. Oh. Well, that's they not good. Away. Unit 3, cut them off. Bruh. Oh, we, uh, that's us. Bro. Hey, in the bush. What? The orange light. light. I see them. Come on, let's go. Oh, well, this part is trippy. Okay, here's my question, right? We have have established from this ride that every other E, like every other relative to ET on this planet can speak perfect English. So what happened with ET? Every other every other person has been like et come save us oh my goodness thank you so much and et is like oh, oh. Be right here. okay <laughs> uh, okay yeah about what i expected actually nice <laughs> facts the Simpsons ride. There are so many people in this area, but like none of them are going into the Simpsons ride, so should should be should be vibing. Hopefully. We'll see, I guess. Oh, just kidding, I already see the queue. It says 55 minutes. Let's see what it actually is. I have to say, we've probably been in line for like, probably like 15, 20 minutes, 
but it has felt like a lot shorter just because of how fast this line moves. I don't know if it's because this is a super high capacity ride or if it's just the design of the queue line. Um, just since it's relatively narrow, it feels like it's going pretty fast. Um, either way, it's an amazing design of the queue line or great capacity. Just for a time reference, we got in line about 30-ish minutes ago, and now we are here. Seems like we're about to go into a pre-show, and then on to the ride. Yeah. You're fired! Leave the suit! Oh, you stay off! Go! Keep the suit! Come with me. You stay here and wait for someone to tell you to do something. Sounds good to me, bro. We're getting it. Number six. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I honestly have not seen a... Uh, Hello. Eight going into six. I was a little confused. Oh, that's fine. Da -da -da. Now, if a human being were to enter that room, huh. who knows what events might occur you like? They could grow 50 feet tall, or three extra arms, or an eye where their nose should be, which is painful. I'm sorry, sir. People with heart conditions may not ride. Why, I'm in the best shape I've ever... Oh, heart attack! Been in my life! I feel like a 20 stroke year old Benjamin under a dumb! I'll wait outside. Well, Maggie, looks like I'll be taking care of... That's actually kind of sick. I love that. Wow. If I had to, I missed. I forgot that I like the symptoms. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not as much as Family Guy, but I like the symptoms. That's fair. No, I think like if I had to describe that ride, it was funny. You know, like everything, all of, there was like a lot of references to like other parts. Like they had SeaWorld in there with this bit, like with the whale. The, the Shamu. The Shamu. And then there was, it's a small world. Um, they're like, don't you know all rides have to end in the kitchen? You know, like there, there were a lot of really funny stuff. Oh, well, that's new. <laughs> All right. You know what I find kind of funny is that they just did an inclement weather spiel, meaning since this is an indoor ride, um, lightning must be like really, really in the immediate area um, for them to have to shut down this ride. Um, and right after the inclement weather spiel, everyone decided, everyone who was sheltered here decided, oh, this is a good time to leave. Bruh, that means that there's like really bad weather but i mean go off i guess do anything for a giant donut 
I mean, it's still raining over here, but uh, that looks like a good sign. Maybe, please. Well, uh, <laughs> guess I'm getting diabetes. And it's officially done raining. Yay. Sweet, now over to Men in Black Alien Attack. Hello. Bro, you got soaked. It's so loud. <laughs> Men in Black is definitely a ride I know absolutely nothing about. So, I don't know, like literally zero. Never seen a POV, never heard anyone talk about it. I don't really know what's gonna happen, but that's the fun of it. I'm excited. Bro, literally, Will Smith at the end was like, pointed to us and was like, you guys, you guys were great. And then they pointed to the other car and was like, you guys kind of suck. <laughs> so, I kind of took an L on that one. No, we actually, like, I mean, I mean, obviously we were the two that really carried the team, you know? It was just, it was all us. It was just me my, with my 52,000, him with his 62,000. And, and you have I like 415,000. He just only got 415,000. But like, but like us though, where are you at? Uh, we, I think we care. Uh, Definitely. <laughs> well, let's go and on. fittingly, the sun is out. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Went from literal thunderstorm to tropical paradise in like i don't know what 15 too. minutes yeah yeah it's happening tomorrow nice and the big reveal with the dragon i love how this area of the park was set up this is like super cool though look at that ta-da Hey, did you did you did you see the did you see the dragon? Did you? No. No? No. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Oh well. Maybe next time. Maybe we'll see you next time. Furious super Why do you want to do Fast and Furious? <laughs> because we gotta join the family. We, we gotta join the family. <laughs> we really don't. <laughs> it's so so funny. Oh wow! Look how ugly he is. <laughs> what do you mean? I think that he's a smexy man. Look at that! Look at that guy's ears, bro. He is so sexy. Oh man. Hey bro. So sorry. glasses are not this thick. <laughs> these, be, these are hefty 3D glasses. She thick. I agree with you. This is a really cool cool Q line. This is sick. I was not a I like I mean again I've never ridden this before so I, I didn't really know what to expect and, and this is really cool. I like this. There you go. That's sick. Yeah, no, this is a really, really, really cool queue line and station. I love this. Huh. Wow. Alrighty. We getting it. Let's go. I'm actually very excited for this thing. Yeah, I thought it was pretty, like, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was really good. Um, after uh, after watching or after writing for Dreams and then writing back, you know? 
I would say Forbidden City is definitely the superior in my opinion. Yeah. So, so I think I was expecting it to live up to Forbidden Journey. Um, and that's why I was like, okay. I did not have an expectation. That's fair. I was not as disappointed. That's fair. Uh, but yeah, good ride. Definitely happy that I did it. Not something that I would wait uh, two hours for. Like uh, a lot of people are right now. <laughs> We're getting shown the secret way out. Da, 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 da. Hey. Like 2016, 2017. Yeah. Nobody ever went this way. That makes sense. Uh, to the right. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I mean, just overall, um, the, that area just in general is very like, you know, Jaws. hidden. Jaws is better. Jaws? That's what they replaced Jaws with. Oh. Jaws. Ah, I got you. I bet a lot of Harry Potter fans are like really mad at you right now in the care. comments. Jaws is a better ride. <laughs> I kind of have to agree. I mean, I haven't ridden Jaws, but like, so I'm not, I'm not a big, I wasn't a massive fan of, of Gringotts. I think a little bit in my head, I was hoping that Gringotts would be like the best ride. Not, not in like the entire park, because Velocicoaster, Hagrid's, whatever, but like, um, in, at just at Universal, excluding Islands of Adventure, I thought it was gonna be the best ride here, and I thought it would get, gonna be like <coughs> the star of Universal Studios Hollywood, or Orlando, but this wasn't really that. So I think that's why I kinda came off of it, and it was like, okay. You know what is the star? Of Universal Orlando, though. Fast and Furious Super <laughs> Yeah, uh, as everyone knows, the best ride on it. You, you really, you, you're. We, we have to. Why do we have to ride this, bro? <laughs> as a start, actually break dancing. Okay, the music was pretty good to though. Finish line. My man Don Toretto wants all of you over there for the after party in Sullivan's Garage. And I got some flying party buses lined up and on their way to take y'all in style. All right? The party is going to be one for the history books. So head on over I love to how the he's like looking down. I love how he's looking around. down to like read his line. Is he really? Yeah. <laughs> he's going. He's going. Yeah, I'm going to take y'all to some uh, party buses and uh, we're going <laughs> to. We gotta do it in style. Bro, so it's, enjoy it's round two of seeing this. Music. Yeah, you see it? <laughs> you see it? <laughs> he's looking at, he's looking at, the, at the script. Jamie, the buses are here. Awesome, cool. You know, I can't open those doors. You're gonna have to do that. Oh, Dom's calling. You want me to get that? I got this, Jamie. Dom, what up? Touch. Just got a heads up from Hobbs. Oh, what would he say? The FBI is about to raid their location. Wait, again? Oh, man, they always ruining our fun. It feels like it's every three it minutes. It gets worse. <laughs> They're leading on Shaw right to your door. Wait, who's that again? Shaw, that cockroach we beat down in Spain? Oh, he's much worse. What's he got to do with this? <laughs> Nothing yet. And let's keep hey. it that way. Get those people on those buses. I mean, I would, but you know, the door. You need to start bugging out right now. I don't do bugs, Tom. And get that bugging. turbo truck ready. <laughs> I'm sending Letty there to pick it up. I have her number. Let me give her a call. I'm on it. Why am I even here, Tetsu? Hobbs needs our help. <laughs> our team. Spread the word. You are the man. Tell everybody. Keep it in our family. Amongst yourselves. And keep it quiet. <laughs> on second thought, I said nothing. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's been it's hot. It's hot. Ah, same Hobbs, my man. And it's been. Sorry, what did he say? No it's not like it's been. It's hot. Oh, same that thing. That what this is? That you in? No. Yeah. yeah. Yes. He wants us to get everybody over to the party at some Sounds like a plan. That party is a ready-made diversion. Keep it going. We need to discuss how you're going to get all those civilians out of there without tipping off the FBI. Civilians? I thought they were family. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let 
Let me get everybody squared away. Please help. And we'll talk offline. Okay, we're all going to Copy that text <laughs> and let everybody know. Shut off your cell phones. Shut we don't want Sean phone. tracking your location. Hold up, but you just called us. Okay, James. <laughs> uh, uh huh. It's about to go to a whole nother level. Like gas prices? Send everybody to the loader. <laughs> okay, cool. We're going to open those. Oh, it's not nice. Hi, guys. Doors are open. We can go after this. I'm sure oh, I'm sorry. I, oh my god, I love how this is. This, this is more of a comedy show than yeah, it is a good they, ride, bro. They used to make them be like very straight face. Yeah. And they, uh, they realized that the ride sucked and they like, put comedy into it. And since then, it's been a lot better experience. Yeah, okay, but that's actually hilarious. Hey, uh, bust the move. Hey. <laughs> my, my dad's just aiming it. <laughs> Is it even a, like, should we even count that as, like, a ride? No, it's a comedy show. It's, it's a comedy show with a movie at the end. That's what it is. It's a it's comedy like, show. It's not a good movie considering Vin Diesel is twice the size of a helicopter. <laughs> Who's driving that? <laughs> it's an optical. <laughs> R.I.P. Mummy. They're refurbishing it. It's alright. We've ridden it before. Last time we came here. That's true. I don't know why they need to refurbish Mummy if it was already dead. I feel like the whole whole point of the Mummy is that it's like old and crusty. Like my dad. Okay, fun fact about Tyler is that he loves Rip Ride Rocket. Like he like he has it in his like top 20. Now I've always thought that it was like the most boring roller coaster on the planet. But I know other people who like really like it too, so I don't know. I guess I'll, I, I mean, I'm, I'll keep an open mind and see. But I still don't really have high expectations. If it gives me one pop of air time, I'll be happy. If you have this your condition is aggravated by this race intervention. It's unsafe if you enter. Profane is the simplest way to avoid being injured. If you're lucky enough to be allowed to take this ride, your arms, legs, heads, and hands must remain inside. I thought it was worth doing. There are two parts that I thought were funny. One time when the car like basically went through him. And the second time, whenever we were falling from the moon, and he was like, what do we do? We've already established that we can fly. What yeah. do you mean, what do we do? He was like, oh, I know. I can activate this crazy tube thing and then surf through it. I'm like, bro, we can fly. Like, I, I mean, go off, I guess. It was, it was all right. It was Totally forgot that they have the um, metal detectors here still, right? Yeah. So everything has to go in the locker. Well, see y'all once we get out. But Okay. I understand both views. Number one, I felt the airtime. The airtime was there. I don't remember the airtime from other, uh, other times we rode it, so that was nice. Um, I actually definitely enjoyed that. That was cool. Um, the music was a vibe. I, wa I listened to Stronger by Kanye West. and um, I listened to Diary of Jane, which is my favorite song I've listened to on this ride. That's really funny. It's a really good song for this ride. And Perfect yes. like, works so well. Um, the, the other only thing, thing is, the, other is thing the rattle. Yeah, the rattle is really bad. I also think the third row is the row with the worst rattle. Okay, every well, every time I there ride you go. there, I get it the worst. Okay, well, there you go. So just try not to ride in the third row. Um, but for us, we rode second row, uh, my dad and I, and I, I actually thoroughly enjoyed that ride. Like, as in, I would like to ride it again before we leave today. So, anyways, I think we're going to go back to the Simpsons ride um, was, the, was the plan. Um, and then kind of just meander around the park for the next hour and 20 minutes before the park closes. 
Alrighty, we just took another ride over on, um, what's it called? Hey dad, we gotta go this way. I don't know where he going. That's a um, we just took another ride over on Simpsons. Um, always a great ride, I really like that ride. We're gonna go on Ringgots now. That's gonna be the last ride of the night. Something I enjoyed about our last ride over on Simpsons is, for those of you who don't know, I want to be an engineer within the entertainment industry. Um, so mainly theme parks. Um, so I really like, you know, the, the mechanical systems that make these dark rides, um, as well as the theming elements that go within them work. Um, same, um, I also geek out over like, you know, theater shows and film industry stunts and you know stage performances all the engineering that goes into that also super interested in that but anyways on this last Simpsons ride I got the chance to just look around and look to see how that ride system works um, really really cool the stuff that I noticed um, and so I want to do that on Gringotts here too because I know that Gringotts has a really complex and really fun ride system yeah. Definitely like my favorite station. Yeah, me too. Looks really nice. Yeah. Alrighty guys, with one last ride on Gringotts, that is the end of our day here at Universal Studios Orlando. That was a super fun day. Definitely, um, my dad literally just said this to me right before I started filming, but born st stuntacular as we pass it right now. Definitely an awesome start to the day. Um, Gringotts, definitely an awesome finish to the day. Um, just overall, I really like this park. Um, I wasn't really expecting to like this park as much as I did, to be honest. All of the rides and stuff, um, they none of them blew me away, um, but they entertained me enough where, um, you know, it's a, it's a park where, you know, I, can, I come out and I'm like, yeah, I had a really good day here. Um, it was definitely a thing before this where I was like, oh, well, you know, it's basically, basically just islands of adventure, you know? Universal doesn't really do anything, but I disagree now. <laughs> um, both, both parks are not equal, but, um, you know, there's, there's some competition there. If someone made a good argument of why this park was better, uh, I w could take it into consideration. Um, but anyways, overall, again, Awesome day here at Universal Studios Orlando. And look out for a vlog from Universal Studios, well, from Islands of Adventure, coming out in the next week or two. Anyways, I will talk to you guys all then. Peace out. When the doors open, move immediately into the vehicle boarding station. Knock and don't run until the Take your seats in an orderly fashion, and please watch your head as you enter the vehicle. If you have difficulty dealing with small spaces, make the Krusty crew member aware of this before entering the vehicle. Once you are seated, please pull down on the lap bar. Please remain seated and face